Hey guys, Gray Eagle again. Uh, a little quick tutorial. Uh, Valheim. This is getting started. Okay. And I want you all to understand. Um, Valheim is pretty easy to play, but it can be a little bit of a pain. Um, we're not going to use my character. We're going to create a new one. Because I want you to see how this is done. Uh, you can change skin color from charcoal black to china white. I mean, it's your choice. Uh, you can have no hair braided. There's different hairstyles. I always like the Norseman look. Uh, don't like the braided beards kind of like that one. That one's okay. The Fu Manchu look doesn't cut it, but just a standard beard, you know. That one works. Um, hair tone, you can go super black, super light, any which way. Um, you can go real blonde, or you can go real dark. So that pretty much covers what you can do with your hair color. And you can, yes, do female, or male, doesn't matter. Um, for sake of an argument, we're going to go male. Yeah, I kind of like that. Thick beard? We'll try that. Anyhow, we're going to go a little on the lighter side. And since my name is Gray, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, I already have a character named Gray, so this is going to be Gray too. Why not? Graybeard. Uh, once you get all of this done, click done. Now you have a character. Now you're going to kick start. And you can do whatever you please. Um, I found uh, your smart idea is kick around in a map in single player because it's a whole lot easier. And we're going to call this World 2. No, it's going to be World 3. I've already got a World 2. So we're going to make this World 3. And we're going to use whatever. Um, there's a lot of different maps. And a lot of different ways to make maps. Uh, you can YouTube a bunch of that, so figure out what you want to do. Uh, community start server, that's when you want to take and give other people access to your computer, unless you take and get a hosting computer. Well, let's hit start. With a new character, you're going to be flown in by Huggin, or Higgin, however anybody wants to. I've heard people call him 14 different things. I call him Huggin. You'll load for a few minutes. Always look over in the right. See if the loading screen's there. And if you notice my frame rate is 60 FPS. <coughs> I don't know that you can see that or not. But you're going to load in. And once you load the world that the seed came from, and all the goodies, um, you wake up because you died, and uh, believe it or not, you cannot, you cannot skip this. 
I have tried all buttons, shift, everything, and I've yet to find it. So if somebody finds it, put it down in the comments. Also, while you got time and you're sitting here watching all this shit scroll, hit that subscribe button. Hit a like, leave a comment, make sure you hit the bell and hit all so you see all my new videos popping out. But what we're going to what we're going to entail in this video is the uh, the quick tips for starting. Okay, now you're flying in on hugging. And the game gets real real freaking loud. Way too damn loud as far as I'm concerned. But Anyhow, you can look around. You have no control. You notice you're seeing sand, trees, rocks, and all of a sudden he gets really rude and throws you on your ass. You start out with absolutely nothing and I mean absolutely nothing uh, he wants to talk to you all the purpose of now you see it's H-U-G-I-N hugging as far as I know okay but he starts telling you things you're in the 10th world and you are in Viking purgatory okay more or less um, these are megaliths that are from different um, bosses that you're going to have to kill. Uh, you're going to have to learn how to use the map. That is the route that you flew in when he was so rude and dropped you. Talk to him for a second. I usually just get rid of him. He doesn't help me much. There's a few things around the start that actually help you. Um, there's some stone and some wood. Not enough to really get anything going. Okay, and he's going to come over here. He's going to bug the shit out of you for a while. Okay. Best thing to do is just tell him okay. You know, he's going to tell you what the C does, what you can do here, what you can do there. Um, if you're into hints and stuff, this clown is a pain in the neck. He is called a neck, and he is a real pain. Um, you have now a edible item. Trick. Trees cannot be taken down. But, you want to get wood so that you can make a structure. You can get trees by hitting these little saplings. Okay? And it also levels up your skill on your hand skills. In other words, open-handed. Or empty-handed. But, it also gets you wood. Because that's one of the first things you need. You need wood. Because what are we doing? We're trying to survive. Okay. Now you have a crafting menu. I'm going to show you that right now. And the first thing you want to build is a club. Okay. You don't need a torch. You don't need a hammer right this second. You need something to kill with. Okay. Okay. One out of that. And sometimes you'll see branches laying on the ground. Pick them up. Okay. You run up here in the forest. Oh no. Not one of you. Okay. This guy is a little tough to kill at the beginning. But after you get a club, you can do him in. 
he drops resin, which is what you make torches from. Okay. Run through the bushes. Keep beating on trees. Now, there's also another way that you can build up your skills, and that is beating on rocks. If you want to up your skills, stand and beat on rocks. I'd rather beat on trees. It's profitable. Let your stamina go back up. It's going to tell you you're hungry, but you can't eat raw meat. Okay. So you really want to take and kind of do some deforesting of the little trees. Also, it'll get you an area that you can see. Stamina build up. It takes a few minutes. But now, we should have enough for a club. And we do, because we're not flashing. We got enough for a club. We got enough for a hammer. And we have enough stone for an axe. An axe is very useful in the beginning. I would say club axe torch okay okay and we've got enough to build a torch okay which leaves us the hammer and we gotta get some more rocks we only need one but you're gonna need a whole lot more stuff to get your character moving so let's run a little bit there's a branch laying down yeah free wood just flint you need flint Flint is going to be your friend for a little while. This is progressive now, so don't ever get the idea you won't need an, an item. Um, there are times you're going to need multiples of items. Ooh, a meadow. That's a good place to put a house. Now, we got enough to make our hammer. So let's pop it in. Now, I know your friend over here has just popped up. He does it all the time. Careful swimming, you'll use a lot of stamina real quick. Talk to him, he's going to tell you build a structure, yada, yada, yada. We're going to cheat. I don't, I don't call it cheating. We're going to improvise. Alright, now we want to get our club out. Not that one. That one. Put that away. And you got boars up here. These guys are a little rough to kill in the beginning. Not real bad, but not real easy. You get into a couple of one stars or two stars, and you've got issues. Two at once is interesting. You notice I took some damage. Okay, now we killed them. We gotta keep getting rocks. And I know that stupid bird just came up behind me and said, do something. And no, I don't want to at the present second. I don't want to listen to him. I want rocks. Why do I want rocks? Fine, I will talk to you just to get rid of you. You know, your fields that are like this are a treasure trove of rocks. You will need quite a bit of stone and you will need a ton of wood. Stone and wood are your two big items right now and flint stone wood and flint are probably the three starters you got to collect a ton of it here's where you improve your axe skills get your axe out laying down wood is a lot easier to deal with than standing up wood takes a few wax I 
okay, but you got quite a bit. Alright, now, let's go up the hill. Oh, another boar. No, it's a deer. No, it's a boar. That's a boar. This time we're going to kill him with an axe. Improved our axe skills. You'll find that an axe does kill faster than a club. But, in later game, you want both of them equal. So work on both of them. Kill once with a club, kill once with an axe. Keep picking up junk. Whoop. Looked over my shoulder to pick that one up. We're looking for a structure. There's usually some up in meadows. Because this land was inhabited one time long ago. Don't run your stamina completely out. Because if it looks like a rock in the grass, it also may be a boar. And if you don't have any stamina, you can't swing. I'm running up this meadow for a reason. I want to see if I can find a structure before it gets dark. Because dark time lets out all the ghoulies. It's a little testy. And what we're doing is we're looking for shelter. Ooh, what did I spy over there? Is that a shelter? It looks like it. Let's run through the weeds. Stamina is hard to keep up in the beginning. Yes, we found a little village. Mm hmm. How good is it? Found a chest. And we found feathers and another torch. Torches cannot be repaired. Okay? They just can't. So, in the beginning, you're going to like them. You know, you're going to be hitting and getting on the torches. Structure isn't too bad. I mean, if we really, really, really have to, we could live here for a little bit. So, what we're going to do... <coughs> um, sorry about that, guys. Get out our hammer. Go to crafting. Crafting bench. They're hard to set in the beginning, and this looks stupid, but it makes it fit. Because if you turn it around this way, sometimes you can't get it to fit right. And it will say not shelter. But it fit. We got a whole bunch of recipes. Okay? And I mean a whole bunch. You got all kinds of stuff. Alright, it is. It's too exposed. And there's dummy. Okay, so. Let this all page past. Um, in the meantime, we can get stuff done. If you right click on your hammer, when you're in your inventory, it will equip it. Uh, that's a little trick. Um, you have the ability to cook now, but now you have the ability to destroy. Okay, so I usually go to this, kill that one, because number one, I want the wood. Number two, I want to we're going to fix some stuff. Just for shits and giggles, we're going to repair it up so that we might get a little done. Now, it says that's too exposed. The easiest way to fix this is to push the roof up. And the only way to push the roof up is make this bigger. And the easiest way to make it bigger is to get rid of this building the way they built it. 
Yes, you're going to get quite a bit of wood by destroying it. But you don't have to take up the floor. So don't. And yes, I kill their chest. I don't want it. I want what I do set where I want it. And we got enough light to do this. We can get more wood if we need to. So why not build it right the first time? Okay. This is a little bit of work, but it's worth it. Because it builds it the way you want it. Pick that up. Pull that up. Do not hit your workbench. If you hit your workbench, it, you got to build another one. And it's a major pain in the ass. And I'm going to hit my workbench. I hit it for a reason. Everybody says, I just said, don't hit your workbench, but you hit your workbench, dumbass. Uh, no, there was a reason behind that. Now we're going to build another workbench and set it there. Okay, reason. Okay, we fixed our two foundations. All right. We want to do two things. One, get out our building agenda. I didn't want to do that. It's all right. It picks up and puts down very easily. I want to do one thing immediately. And this sounds really stupid. Now I'm using a 26 degree roof. You can use a 45 if you want to build it your way. I build these buildings my way for the simple fact of uh, it just it saves me time. Now we should yeah get that message. So now I'm gonna take and spin one around there and spin one around here. And it should let me use it. Still too exposed. Alright. Uh, let's see. Da 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 da. Hey, hey, hey. No, we're going to the woods going that way. And remember, you cannot hold a torch using the hammer. Okay, now we have three paddles out that way. And we want a door. Wrong door. We want this door. We want a door. And we want another panel that way. Another one that way. Alright. It still says to expose, but it won't be in a second. It doesn't care about whether there's floor. It just cares if there's walls around it. Okay, it does care if there's a roof directly over it. Now see, we can access it. This is how you repair your stuff. Okay, that's the reason you need it covered up. I made that little roof. And I covered it up real quick. To get it to where I can repair my stuff. If you don't do this, you will find yourself rummaging for wood. Rummaging for this, rummaging for that. Over and over and over and driving yourself insane. Get this covered up so you can upgrade and repair, okay? Now you can upgrade your stone axe. You can upgrade your club with a little bit of bones, which I'll tell you how to get those. And that will be another video. But this is your starter, okay, to get you to where you can repair your shit. Now, we want to get rid of that. And you can come down closer. I'm going to get rid of that for a second. 
you can widen out or come in rolling the mouse okay I want to put that floor back in in a minute now and furniture you have a torch standing torch that is how you're going to get light for right now okay simple fact now get rid of those three walls because you don't need them at the present moment and I got rid of that floor because I saw it was crooked if you if you were watching I saw it was crooked so I picked it up go into building one there one where the torch is at one there and don't care if the grass is growing up through it right now what you're building is a night structure so you can get your butt indoors okay one there I hope that isn't what I think it is. Oh, it's stupid. I heard thud, thud. That is not a good thing. Make another source of light here. Hit miscellaneous. Put a campfire there. Campfires do take... Um wood so don't think you're gonna get away free you want a cook station here's a trick with a cook station go back to a building and I'm gonna still want walls okay trick with a cook station you're gonna throw meat on it um, yeah we're gonna need some wood you're gonna throw meat on it guess what if you leave it on there too long it becomes charcoal now you heard it when it went on. It's going to do that again. When you first come into the game, if you need charcoal, burn your meat. In other words, just leave it on there. About 10 to 15 minutes, or 10 to 15 seconds over, you'll hear it go again. It's too overdone. Okay, now it's done. We take them off. Okay. We got a little necktail. Because we killed the lizard. And we're going to get a little cooked food. Food is the whole thing in this game. So if you see my health right now is at three. Take your food. I stick it up in eight, seven, and six. And then you just hit 8 and 7 and you eat. Okay? Now that I've eaten, and I'm sitting next to, or standing next to a fire, I can actually sit down next to the fire by hitting X. This lets you rest. By resting, your health will go up quicker. By having an enclosed structure where it says shelter, above fire and resting, it'll go up even quicker than that. So now, we're at about 40. That's all I really need. Uh, let's run out here and talk to Dum Dum. Got a good moon tonight. You feel cold? Shut up. I know I feel cold. It's because I don't have anything built. Um, let's go over. No, those are oak trees. You can't cut them down yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Hex time. Got a boar. We want him because he is food. Get up on him. As soon as you see that target above his head, nail him. Alright, let's get some more wood. Alright. Now you can hold a torch when you're using your axe. Trick is, 
you will chase away the goblins. If you want to chase away the goblins, that's up to you. Me, I like them to come at me because they are a free source of resin. You won't see resin a lot. I will tell you this. Clear all the crap around you so you can see. Now, when you drop a tree, everybody tells you the trees kill you. Yes, they do. If you're stupid enough to run the wrong direction. Stand there and watch it. See it turn into the side? You see me even move? No. Because guess what? I didn't have to. Take the stump out. Because that's more wood. It's a little bit of work. I take it out. There's a tree there. Take it out. There's a bush. Take it out. Now, on the way down, your tree took some saplings out. So that's more free wood. Got to break the log in two. Pick it up. You got another half up here, so you know, might as well pick it all up. Oaks and birch right now are incompatible with your axe. So you're not gonna pick up pine wood and you're not gonna pick up core wood. You see recipes for it? That's nice. If you notice I went right onto another tree. I know I need wood and I need a bunch of it. I need whatever I can carry. Now, notice I see, I see the tree falling away from me. It's getting dark enough. I want it cut up. I want to get this part done. So I'm picking up wood. We pick up wood. All right. And we're working at night, so, you know, we want to carry a couple torches. Here's the other part. Don't get out of sight of your base right now. Because your base is your safety. Okay. And we have a problem. I broke my axe. Okay, can I repair it? Sure. Repaired the hammer and repaired the axe. Okay, because I've got a roof over the top of it and it's semi-enclosed. Pick up your club and your or your axe. Do not run out in the woods unarmed. That's the stupidest thing you could ever do. Unless you're exploring. Our log. Took two more wax. Okay. Well, we got enough wood for a little bit. Let's see if we can get this structure on the road. Run up the hill. Now here's your first basic learning point. Everybody's going, you need to finish off your structure, correct? Wrong. Get this put down. Get it dropped. Now, with this down, and Dummy's going to tell you all about it, you can set your spawn point. Okay? You got to get a roof over the top of it, so get building. Uh, 26 degree, well, rough. And we're going to put one, two, a wall, a roof, and that should do it to where I can at least get a spawn point. Uh, too exposed. All right, that's okay. Now, uh, wall. I want one there, one there, one there. Spin it around. Roll your mouse to spin. One there, one there. And I want that little goober. One there, one there. Notice everything's green. It's because I built a good foundation. If your base foundation is blue, your rest of your structure will be green. 
if you turn yellow after you get a lot taller. Notice I got roof pieces hanging out in midair. They're still green. You know why? Good structure. Alright. A wall. Oop. Perfectionist. Add on. Piece of floor. daytime already so but we have done a bunch in a short time and we want to put a wall next to that one and another one next to that one do not walk in the fire it will kill you not right away but it'll wake you up 26 degree member here I found it setting it on the floor and getting it to where I want it is probably the easiest way to line it up. Okay, one there. And you need the same angle down here, so before you spin it. Now, here's a trick. Everybody puts a little bitty knee wall on top of that and then puts another. You'll find by doing that, you don't have to waste the knee wall, which means it's less lumber. All right, guess what? Spawn point set. You have the basics of what you need right here. These things right here are the basics of what you need. You can come over to your workbench now and you see you have axe hammer, uh, flint knife, not too useful, but can be. Flint spear is very useful. Get your skills up on that. Uh, shields are good. Now, a little word about shields. The wood shield is okay. The tower shield is better, but it's heavier. Slows you down. Okay, always look at the weight of your items because it has a great bearing on what you do. A hoe is necessary. Because remember I was going to show you how to make a safe area? I'm going to real quick. So now we need some more wood. It has become morning. We've got our structure built. Home sweet home it is. We go out here. And we do not go into the woods unarmed. Okay. We used their structure to build us a new little home. I forgot something up there. I didn't have to do that. But uh, you better have the smarts to cover that. Does anybody know why? Uh huh. The rain. And I gotta back up just a hair. Voila. <coughs> and a big reason why that's there is to keep the rain from hitting your fire. If the rain hits your fire, it's game over. It will go out and you will get cold. And I also stagger how my roof fits on. If you notice, it's a little short here. It's to each his own. But anyhow, that works. It always works for me. And you can always put one of these on it. Make it look pretty. See? It makes it look prettier. 
it really doesn't connect. But right now, this is a temporary structure, so guess what? You did what you set out to do. You've got a temporary structure. Okay? I mean, you can spruce it up and put things on it. I mean, I could rebuild this and make it a whole lot prettier. Put that on it. I need wood. Which we were going to go get. Anyhow, let's arm with the axe. Let's go get some wood. Um, now you're just adding to the... And I picked up more resin. Sometimes you'll find resin laying on the ground. I found it a few times. It's not super abundant, but it's there. Also, not, I'm not a HP watcher. Okay? If you die now, you die. You're going to end up right back at your house. You won't have your junk, but you weren't that far to begin with from your house. And whatever killed you was probably fairly weak. Start off in the plains, or the, not the plains, but the little prairies, fields, where there's other people's stuff to use that's abandoned uh, and work your way up and that's basically how you get started but your big tips number one is get shelter boy that roof is cockeyed as hell okay OCD's kicking in that's more cockeyed than I wanted it uh, OCD's kicking in. Yes, it is. So, let's correct that real quick. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Dee -dee. Dee got to do is mouse over the door frame and you can close the door. You don't have to look at the door. Some joker told me one time, oh you got to be looking at the door. No you don't. All you got to do is look at the door frame. That looks a lot better. Yeah, because you hear who's outside. Somebody's come to dinner. And he's an unwelcome guest. So we're going to go out there and wail on him. What? You want what? You want to come in? No. I said no. You weren't invited. So, there you go. Structure. It sticks out a little bit. I don't like the way that sets. Fine. Try it. Right. This whole building's weird. It's one of the walls I set. Because this side looks any godland to that side. Hmm. That one's hooked to the foundation. Ah, uh, this one's not. Or if I got a gap at. None in there. Might be just on that end cap. Good possibility. Well, we cure that. Yes, he had a temper tantrum. Don't worry about it. Was it on the end cap? Pretty much. What's in the way? It's me. Try that. Oh, there's our mistake. There's our mistake. That end cap was set wrong. Oh well. 
it's easily fixed. Doesn't take but a few minutes. Because our structure is small. And we know all the other stuff is correct. We know our end wall on both ends is right. So all we gotta do is just run around and fix up our small boo boo. Pick up our wood. Because you do get it all back. Alright. Yes, you get skill points for jumping. Because jumping is a skill. There we go. Much better. And it lines up now. Now we can put our door back in. Wrong door. We can put our door back in. Put our end pieces back on. Those look right. Or do they? No, it don't, because it didn't actually hook. Uh, there. It hooked that time. And we can put this one on. Set it on the ground, square it up. And there's our end pieces. And you got a log laying on top of the building. Always when I'm building, I close doors because I don't like rude interruptions. And it's hard to build at night, too. You might get something askew, but it ain't going to let the uglies in. Okay? It is not going to let the uglies in. That's eh, a lot better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. Much better. Now you can window dress this up. Uh, 26 degree X. Right there. Uh... One pole standard there, one pole standard there. You know, give it the Norseman look. One corner post, so it looks like a beam house. You know, give it a little gingerbread. Ginger beer. Gingerbread. And yes, you can make mead in this game, and it is a beer. Okay. Finishing touches are put on that end. Now we can go down to this end and pretty much do the same thing. Voila. And I hear a little pest coming. Hey, come on. Come to my back. Come on. Come on. Let's see if you do strike one, or two, or three. Don't like that fire, do you? That fire keeps them away. Yeah, strike one, strike two, you're out. Sorry. I kind of get a charge out of killing them things. They don't last long, and you level up real quick. Now... One thing you really want is a bow. And a bow is not hard to make. This is your next item. You want a crude bow. Uh, which is right there. It takes leather and it takes wood. Trick being leather scraps are dropped by the pig. So we need to go hunt some boars. Because we have four and we need eight. And we need to go chop some more trees down. That will get you started. Okay? Then you can hunt deer, pick berries. Berries are easily found. They're in the bushes. 
to show you what a berry bush is similar to or is oh by the way press M see the bed right there little trick grabs a little icon that has that double click hit the enter on the keyboard not the number pad if you've been playing a little bit, you'll figure that one out. The number pad enter, enter button does not work. Not on pretty much anything in this game. <coughs> this is an oak tree. You cannot cut it down. That is for fine wood. You need a metal axe to take it down. So you need bronze. And bronze is made by finding tin, tin and copper. Uh, a little known hint this is a burial ground I won't say a burial chamber it's a burial ground a Norseman died and they buried his bones his uh, dowry and probably a few gems or something to appease the gods in this circle once you get a pick and your first pick will be of deer antler uh, once you get your first pick, seems I was rudely interrupted. Once you get your first pick, you're going to want to mine these down, probably around head heights, to find the chest and find all the goodies. Okay. These are berry bushes. You can live on berries and meat for the time being. You do, however, want to find structures and beehives. And we're going to go do a little exploring for a minute. I don't know whether there's one up here or not. I've never hit this map. Uh, but I do know that usually on planes there's structures. And where there's structures, there's bees. A little trick throw down a workbench and disassemble the structure don't take on the beehive with a club the bees will kick your butt uh, you won't have a chance we may not find a structure up here but these meadows and that's what they are meadows not plains they're meadows these meadows can contain quite a bit of things. Now, you you guys didn't even see him. I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Okay, but trick is, if there's a rock in the grassland and it's moving, it's probably a pig. They're a major pain in the butt sometimes. More berries. Pick all of these boogers you can get your paws on. Oh, God. You're rude. I was getting my breakfast. You only got two strikes and you're out. Just like the last one. Okay, pick all the berries you possibly can get your paws on. Raspberries, blueberries, berries, ber any kind of berries. Cloud berries. You'll find them in the forest or in the swamp or you'll find berries all over the place. Black forest is blueberries. Swamp, I don't know what kind of berries there are in there, if there is any. Uh, I haven't found any. Um, remember that this is based on your experience as to what you can deal with and what you can't. This is a rune. Okay? This rune stone can tell you more about the mythology and things that that affect. You'll see them all over the place. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm headed back for home. Because guess what? It's becoming dark. dark. And at night, you're not going to see a lot of heavy duties, but you're going to see multiples. And the closer you are to home, the easier it is to get to your body. Now, if you want to fight at night, knock yourself out. Uh, when you're first starting, I suggest staying within eyesight. And if it gets real dark, 
go inside, go to bed, change it today, get on with your next maneuver. And we've got a pretty good home because we've got a pretty good view down there. We've got a pretty good view over there and we're way up on top of a hill. So we don't have to really worry about tides or anything like that. And we've got food. Only have one, but it's better than nothing. A day where you get two or three food is better than a day when you get zero. That's why foraging is key. But this is your your startup. Okay. The big kick is getting the workbench up and covered and getting a bed down. Because I want to tell you what, I had to learn the hard way and figure it out. And I mean, I never knew that you could repair your weapons until one day I walked up to the bench and went, oh, what's that little hammer sticking out there? And then I put, put my mouse over it and it says, repair an item. And I went, no shit. Because I'm not one of these that watches a bunch of YouTube to figure out how I'm going to beat the game. Okay, I walked into it dead blind. I'm trying to learn. Big things to remember, when you first start food, you can eat berries right off the bush. Um, you want to get meat as soon as possible. You want to get a campfire. You want to get a structure over your head. Um, the normal basics of life, a bed to sleep in, a fire to cook on, and a tool bench to make tools. These three things are your lifesavers. Now you can restoke the torches as long as it, you have resin. You can fill them up and you can fill up the fire with wood. And you're going to run yourself out of wood a lot. but. Keep it stoked up because when the fire goes out and you got to go chop wood at night if it burns out while you're asleep and you have no wood on you um, you do want to put down a couple of chests and I'll show you where that is in the build menu it's under furniture you want to put a couple of these bad boys down one specifically for wood that you can throw in the fire Kind of like the wood box at your granny's house. Now, I don't know if you had that issue. I did. Of course, I'm a lot older than a lot, a lot of people to play. Anyhow, that's the way to start off and be safe and have food. Because right now we've got all this stuff. We got some leather. We got some flint. We got resin for the torches. These beech seeds. Eventually, you'll get a cultivator and be able to plant them and you can actually have beech trees near your base. Uh, world deforestation is not totally necessary because you can replant. Um, you have more and more and more uh, armor and we could actually get into armor real quick. I'm not close enough to the table. There we go. Armor. You're going to get your first armor. is probably going to be rags. I don't know why I went naked. Anyhow. I got dressed again. Um... Not seeing any armor on there yet. I think it's when you get your first deer hides. Get your crude bow, and then you'll get your armor. But you'll start off with rags. And I mean, you can go naked or you can go with rags. Um, yeah, it is when you shoot your first deer that you'll get more recipes. Get your bow built. Um, and like I say, this is going to fill up 
Because every time you pick up an item, it's like dandelions, pick them up. Um, if you want to eat while you're in this inventory, right click on the item and you can eat while you're in the inventory so you don't have to hop out of it. Your skills are here and this is how they progress. Um, if you want to see your trophies, um, if you want to go player against player, in other words, head to head with somebody just for shits and giggles, that's up to you. Um, otherwise, friendly fire is turned off most of the time. And then every time that you talk to Hagen, this is what happens. He tells you about this stuff. You can always refer back. Which is why I don't stand there and pay attention to it. Because it shows this is what you got added to your self. This is what you've done so far. If you want to know if you picked something up, yeah, you saved on that time. Okay, so all that stuff is in your inventory. To upgrade your stuff is right here. You've got to have the items. Um, and everything except the hoe is upgradable. Okay. That's it. And this is Gray. Uh, thanks for checking out Gray Wolf Gaming. Um, like, subscribe if this helped you. I know I was a little long-winded and this was a little on the long side for a video, but hey, it'll get you started, get you where you're comfortable, you're protected, and you've got a place to sleep. And now you can build your world from here. Wolf saying, see ya. And my favorite trademark, Night-night.